We are in a climate emergency. One million species are risking extinction. Yet, industrial farming is still destroying vital ecosystem and wreaking havoc on our planet. This system needs to change if we want our planet not to become a giant frying pan. Our choices as individuals are important, but we need to move some of these choices up the food chain to the source. What if a product could only get to the store if it had a clean ecological record? What if we created a system that actually gave back to the world, that supported more of the good things that we want and less of the bad shit that we don't want? What if we actually got to make the choices? And it starts with reining in the power of the agribusiness giants. Here's how we do it. First, first of all, we need to support indigenous people's land rights and struggles around the world, especially those happening on our own backyards. Indigenous nations are at the forefront of the climate crisis and have been defending the land from this doomsday economy for over 500 years. Second, companies need to stop buying from anyone, and I mean anyone who is destroying natural landscapes like forests, wetlands and grasslands. That means they need to get a grip on their supply chains to be able to tell where commodities come from and how they're produced. Once commodity producers know they won't be able to sell their goods if they've been trashing forests and other habitats, they will stop doing it. Third, food companies need to pay for the damage they're doing to forests and restore what's being destroyed. Yes, you heard me right. To fight the climate crisis, we need to restore our lost forests so they can help to suck up and store carbon from the atmosphere again. Fourth, companies need to change their wasteful business model. They need to sell a lot less meat and dairy, especially in countries where meat consumption is far higher than many other parts in the world. Less meat means less land going to industrial agriculture, which means more land can go back to being reforested and help in the fight against the climate crisis. Basically, the food we grow should be feeding people, not livestock or gas tanks. Switching to a more varied diet with more vegetables and less processed food is really important. Reducing our meat consumption is good for the planet and good for us too. But the burden shouldn't only fall on us. Companies need to provide good quality food and plant-based options. Finally, and this is where things really need to change, food companies are going to have to accept that never-ending growth and environmental protection don't go together. These companies have promised to protect and restore forests, but their outdated business model is taking us in the opposite direction. We simply can't afford that. I know we're trapped in a system where growth is the only measure of success, but that system isn't inevitable. It was designed. And that means we can design a better one. If we want a livable planet, we need to build on the momentum of things like electric cars and powering our houses with solar panels and renewable energy. The agribusiness industry is as much to blame as the fossil fuel industry for our current crossroads. Business as usual is a dead end. None of us asked for food that is destroying our future. None of us were included in any of the choices. But this ends here. If we act together, we can win this. We can change the food system and turn it into something that regenerates our communities and our planet. And this is really our only way out. Together, we can all win or we can all lose. Stay close. This is just the beginning.